Yep. It's about that time. So I haven't, I mean, decided to put up a video like this in a while. So it's only been two takes. <laughs> so uh, please do not expect that much from me. Do not expect the professional um, because trust me, I haven't done like a face to face with you guys for over a, probably a few months. So I'm kind of feeling a bit crazy-ish, but also I kind of feel a little bit lean, but anyway, um, I'm currently 19, and the reason I'm being quiet right now is because it's 12.38, guys, <laughs> it's 12.38, and um, I'm just trying to keep it quiet right now, because, of course, my parents are trying to sleep, and I know they got work in the morning, and I got school, so... I'm um, just going to make this recording real quick, uh, just to say thank you guys so much for being around me. Thank you guys so much for giving me the support for the past few videos, for the past few weeks. It has been amazing. Um, so this one is probably going to go out uh, later, uh, to probably later uh, today. So hopefully I'm going through because right now is like Thursday. So I'm just trying to get this one out and then... After that, I'm gonna work on another one um, for the next uh, week. So hopefully, you guys are gonna, just gonna be keeping up with those type of videos, and I'm just gonna be pretty, pretty substantial. So I'm not gonna be doing too much. Um, also, I wanna make sure to let you guys know that um, <laughs> um, if there's anything I'm gonna be doing, I'm probably gonna be trying to just get you guys caught up on the series because. Um, I meant to do that, but I've been editing too freaking long to do that, so this is what I get. So, I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a brief of my journey um, on YouTube. So, when I first started YouTube, I just did um, Study Island because I wasn't really sure what to do. I was broke and all that. And then after that, I just moved on to live stream back in 2014. And um, live streaming wasn't really that bad. Um, it really got me to open up with horror games and all that. So it was really fun. And I really had fun that, during that year. And it made me feel happy. It made me feel out of place. And it was something that I can truly do for someone who is truly sad every damn day throughout 2013 and 2014. Um, which, uh, one of those dark times. Which is that brings up the whole into play. You see, back in middle school, betrayal was kind of a thing. And uh, throughout the time that this has happened, I haven't really changed. Um, I don't really punch walls anymore because I've gotten over that. But now I just get mad angry. That's all I do. Like, I just get angry and just emotional. So. There's nothing else I can really do. <laughs> um, but aside from that, um, aside from me being an absolute crybaby, I haven't really gotten anything else to do when it comes to um, doing uploads. Because throughout 2014 and 2015, um, I got about 100 subscribers and in a thousand views. Um, and this was around this channel, which was my um my 300 subscriber channel now i'm going to explain that in a little bit but let me explain uh the entire timeline so 2015 was around the time that i kind of got more videos and more views onto the whole platform so 2015 was doing kind of good for me but not too bad so i've been uploading a little bit more and it's been really fun and then after that, around 2016, things kind of took a bit, like, towards the West. Um, because, number one, I didn't really know what to do. And I was kind of stuck. <laughs> um, two different things kind of set down on the downside. Number one, I was kind of weirded out of how there was a ton of people out there that kept telling me... Um, that I was never going to make it. And of course, um, that's when 2017 started drawing in. 
but um, basically I've been getting those comments about how um, I was never gonna make it, I was never gonna make it, I was never gonna go and get like 10k subscribers. I was getting close and the journey was slow, but I was willing to go there. But the only thing that stopped me was the thing that happened in 2017. See, back in 2016, uh, the CEO retired and they gave it to this girl. And of course, um, when they did, things kind of happened throughout uh, 2016 and 2017. Uh, 2016, the whole... Uh, ad revenue things started happening and then the purge started going out and uh, it kind of wiped my channel clean not by subscribers but just views in general because it seems like throughout the time the notifications weren't really working so I wasn't getting as many views as I used to so pretty much um, as things go by um, I lost that channel and I deleted that channel and I decided to start fresh and 2017 was one time I could actually just restart and refresh so when I did refresh around that time um, I started growing a little bit more and I just wanted to get back on the grind and all that so I've been struggling throughout the past few years and uh, throughout 2018, I was actually trying to get everything set as well because um, I was in high school still, so I wasn't really doing too well when it came to um, uploading and everything else because I was still trying to figure out my schedule right then and there, and um, I didn't really have enough time to sell things around the times where I was going to um, like probably sit down and do a full recording video and like do a recording set like I just didn't have enough time to do so so it was kind of difficult to do that also um, just to make this whole thing an apology I just want to say sorry to um, a good f good friend of ours um, he goes by the name of fat rat um, just a bitter context um, I hope this isn't him if it is I'm sorry um, what happened back then and hopefully you're doing better and he's probably just gonna he probably forgot all about it probably because he did uh, ban all of us a long time ago but basically um, for those of you who don't know what happened um, I was streaming back in 2014 uh, Minecraft and we were on the server of uh, Fat Rats it was Fat Rats on server and um, we were just chilling for a bit. We were on Skyblock. That was the only thing we always do because we wasn't going to have enough to do PvP and all that shit. Then, um, my boy Ethan, aka Killer King, my boy, um, um, we met somebody in the lobby and it was, uh, it was Jordan. Uh, if you guys don't know who Jordan is, this is him, Captain Sparkles. Um... When we met him before, it was weird because we never seen him around 1.5. So when this happened, I kind of had a bit of an inch. I had a bit of a hinge because it was kind of weird how I was seeing his videos and he was mostly on 1.7.4 and that was around the time or 1.7.2 and that was around the time where things were starting to update a little bit more. Um, and when that started happening, I realized something, but I didn't want to tell Ethan about it. Nor fat rat because I thought it was going to just go and blow by and he was just going to be trolling everybody just to do things but turns out it was a lot more worse than we have ever predicted so basically um a few days went by and I came back on my computer to live stream again with Ethan and um Ethan had to tell me about how most of our stuff got stolen uh, by Jordan and it was weird because I didn't have no clue what happened um, because I was in a voice call with him I didn't start live streaming yet and he told me how there was a issue with uh, Jordan when he first came on the past few days according to Fat Rat because number one he said that he started stealing a lot of things from other people's uh, skyblock bases because we have a lot of skyblock bases like we mostly go on the server for skyblock we um, have our own bases we just um, take our own bases and then um, we go through now the thing was was the fact that a lot of people did troll back then 
and that was because um they kept taking our diamond stuff they think and it's because they invited us to the island and then immediately kill us on their own island just to take our loot so that was pretty much the whole situation of like pirating if you want to call it like that so Jordan started to do that around other people, like, pretty much, like, <gasps> when uh, Fat Red gave um, Captain Sparkle's uh, admin, he basically went rogue and started stealing and started taking and killing other people's, other people from other islands and taking their loot and uh, leave after. And... It's more of a problem in that situation because he knows not to do that. Now, the thing was that kind of concerned me was the fact that Jordan wasn't that much of a troll. Keep in mind, like, you, for those of you who know Captain Sparkles, he's not a troll. He's not. And for that to happen was kind of weird. So, um, sorry, I had to fix the camera. I just had to fix the camera real quick. I'm sorry. But basically, um, so... We come back uh, like a day later and he tells us it's getting worse and worse by the minute. Like Jordan keeps stealing our stuff. And we've been like most of our stuff, most of our diamonds that we actually bought um, were stolen too. Like all the gold, all the iron, all the emeralds and all the uh, diamonds uh, were taken as well. I oh, actually know emeralds were made back then. Never mind, diamonds, because I remember emeralds weren't really going that far, but sorry about that. I didn't mean to mistake in that part. I'm still so... Uh, anyway. So, um, when we went back on this, right, of course I wasn't really expecting him to literally take everything, but um, pretty much after that, um, a few days went by, a few weeks went by, and it was weird because we were kind of concerned for fat rat and we had no idea what was happening but that's when we realized um when we came back to the server the next day it said that americans are no longer allowed on the server that what it was yeah because um of course fat rat wasn't american so it was a whole different situation but basically he kicked us um kicked most of us that were american off the server so and uh, it was all because of Jordan. And, of course, I wouldn't believe it would be Jordan because, number one, he plays 1.7 back then. Why in the world would he go back to 1.5? That's weird, right? Again, tell me in the comments. I, I, I want you guys to just tell me something. Tell me in the comments, okay? Do you honestly think that that is weird that Jordan would go and then go on to a different version of Minecraft? just to steal and take over and kill people for their loot off the servers that just doesn't seem like him that really doesn't like you gotta think about that for a minute like do you honestly think that man would do something so severely stupid like that like come on for real you're not that dumb <laughs> And, of course, Fat Rat didn't realize that that was not even the real Captain Sparkles at all. Because if that was the real Captain Sparkles, we would have never set this whole thing off. And, second of all, we would have noticed that things would have gotten out of hand, period. Now, of course, me and Fat Rat been had our situations here and there, but we were cool. And as for Ethan, we were like close friends. So, Ethan was kind of shocked about what happened so we didn't know what happened after that because we didn't see each other for over the past few years because after 2015 pretty much four years he's gone rogue and so did I like I haven't been uploading and he left the YouTube and internet scene a long time ago so um, I think he just messaged me around 2018 saying that he was um he came back and come back online so um, I would like to see him see what's going on, but after that, I'm pretty sure we're cool after that, man, so. That journey went down the drain, and now we're just, uh, here now. So, I like to say this for you guys, and I want you guys to understand. I do videos for one thing. 
for happiness, for joy, for really revealing who I am. That's something that I do YouTube for. And that is something I am willing to do for the past few years. And that is what I'm willing to do for the rest of my life. And if anyone tries to take that away from me, I'm refusing. That's it. Because without YouTube, I'd be dead. For real, man. Because YouTube has been a platform of kindness, jokes, and funny moments. Something that people are meant to laugh and be happy for. That's something that a lot of people are willing to do, is do something for entertainment. I'm willing to be an absolute dumbass for your entertainment. And that's something that I would truly love to do. Of course, I can't really do that considering the fact that, um, I know how my parents act, but I don't care about that anymore. As long as I care about you guys, you are good. Trust me. Because this entertainment is right at the tip of the iceberg. Trust me. <laughs> tip of the iceberg. Good one. Um, I'm not even going in front with you guys. Um, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Like, being 19 is going to be a, another journey I am willing to take. And it's time for me to create a new path. Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Also, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Because I am going to be watching the comments now. Because um, I want to see what you guys think of the videos that's been going on recently. Um, but anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Zed, out.